I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Career Clinics. Before going to this video, we wholeheartedly congratulate all the candidates or students and those who have selected for ICR, UG, PG and PhD. As per my knowledge, more than 30 students are selected for uh, IRI. So I wholeheartedly congratulate them. Next in this video, we will see one of the important information that are related to upgradation. We will see entire information that are related to upgradation. For uh, It will be useful for UG, PG and PhD for uh, all the three. Many students have asked about what is mean by upgradation, how we can upgrade whether we need to pay the fees that is seat acceptance fees of 10,000 rupees then what is the probability of getting good or better choice in uh, upgradation everything we can see in this uh, video so this video will be very very useful to all the ICR candidates first we will see what is meant by upgradation for example if you are keeping some preferences that is your first preferences with respect to IRI second preferences with respect to IRISM third preferences with respect to IRI, IAAB or fourth preference with respect to ICR, NISM these are the four preferences that you have preferred in your choice filling for example if you have allotted in third preference that is ICR, IAAB then you can upgrade to go to the top preferences that is best preferences what you have given that is first and two only you cannot upgrade to that fourth preference that is ICR NISM if anyone has not taken seat in the first two preferences then you can get the seat in the particular first or second preferences as per your preference in the second or third round allotment that is mean by upgradation this is not with the top colleges alone or top universities alone even for example you are allotted with the 30th preference but you don't want that university but you can upgrade it to the better preferences for example you can get allotted at the earlier universities as per your preference such as the ranking of 20 or 25 or even for the chances more for 5 or 10 like that so this is mean by upgradation so you want to upgrade and you don't want this university or course then i need to choose for the better for the betterment of your university and your course you want to upgrade next with respect to upgradation who are can upgrade at what are the stages you can upgrade you can there is a chance for upgradation in the first round second round or third round so these are the three rounds that you are going to upgrade that you can upgrade you can get upgradation in all the three rounds there is no problem this time there will be the four round counseling in earlier times it was only three round counseling but this time it is uh, four round counseling we have four uh, four rounds for uh, icr counseling so there is a more chance to get a good seat or a good college in the upgradation process for example if you are doing upgradation in the first round counseling then you will get allotment at the second round counseling then also you don't want that seat i want some better preferences like that if you prefer means then you can get allotment in the third round next that university also you no need then i want to go to some better university more than that means then you can do upgradation in third round then you can participate in the fourth round but after fourth round you cannot upgrade then you cannot participate in the mop up round for example if you want to participate in the mop up round then you know you should not pay that seat acceptance fees then you should not uh, upgrade or do anything in this uh, first four rounds you want to participate in that directly in the mop up round i explained another one video with regard to mop up round that video is in our channel you can see that next with respect to this upgradation you have to up update all the certificates that what they have mentioned uh, in that then after the verification but by your allotted university in the first round allotment then you can upgrade that is uh, there will be the allotment order after that uh, they will accept all your seat and uh, then they will accept all your documents after verification then they will tell to pay the seat acceptance fees of 10,000 rupees so before that payment of the 10,000 rupees seat allotment fees seat acceptance fees then you have to pay uh, you have to upgrade that is there will be two options whether you are accepting the seat or I need to upgrade so you can keep upgrade in that and then you compulsorily you need to pay the 10,000 rupee seat acceptance fees even for upgradation then someone will ask the doubt if I keep upgradation then whether I will lose the seat or uh, university that I allotted in previous round counseling like that so this seat is very very safe for you so for that acceptance only you are paying this 10,000 rupee fees so there is uh, no chance for uh, any loss of the seat with regard to this surely retain the seat if you are not getting any seating 
at the time of upgradation so this is one of the important information so next with regard to this is if you are getting another university in upgradation means during that time also again you need to upload all the required documents then that particular university will verify then only you can able to accept the seat but you no need to pay the seat acceptance fees of 10000 so this is with regard to the upgradation so once you do upgradation you are unable to participate in mop up round counseling that mop up round counseling is entirely different then with regard to this 10000 rupee seat acceptance fees at the time of admission to your particular university deduct this 10000 rupee as you already paid and you can pay only the remaining fees so this is somewhat information about the upgradation so some students have asked what is mean by upgradation and told to explain so this is the explanation about the upgradation if you want to your better preference you can do upgradation but for the upgradation also you have to upload all the documents and for the upgradation also pay the seat acceptance fees of 10000 rupee but that seat acceptance fees will be refunded if you have not taken the seat for the, in the previous video i have explained clearly about that one these are the three important information that are related to upgradation thank you